This picture taken by rescue workers shows where Jeremiah Cribb landed after falling 75 feet from the Yadkin River Bridge. I keep having flashbacks. I'm not supposed to be here right now. On the phone from the hospital, Cribb told me he was on 85 North early this morning making a delivery for FedEx when he noticed a car stalled in the fast lane. He stopped to help, but soon an 18-wheeler came barreling toward them. I was flashing my light on and off, and he was in the left lane. He didn't emerge, and we didn't know if he was going to hit the car, but I kind of had a feeling that he was, and... He went and he smashed into the car. But before that happened, Crib had already jumped over the media. I kind of laid there because I was afraid my, my back was broke. Something really bad happened. He thought that he was jumping into a grass median, that it was at the same height. Salisbury Fire Battalion Chief Nicholas Martin was one of the emergency responders. In this picture, you can see another one, firefighter Jacob Vodachowski rappelling down with a medical bag. I gave him a little pinch on the leg because the way he was laying there looked like he might have been paralyzed from that great of a fall. Despite some dizziness and shortness of breath, Crib was in such good shape, they were able to stand him up and repel him back up to the bridge. And to be honest, that's, that's entirely miraculous. Uh, words can't describe it. I mean, I can't, I can't really, I mean, I'm still trying to wrap my head around it.